Time now for a look through the international headlines we're following on this Monday morning. For that, we turn to our Eunice Kim, who's standing by the news centre. Good morning, Eunice. And good morning to you, Mark. Relative calm has returned to Ferguson, the small city in the U.S. state of Missouri, gripped by racial tensions since police shot dead an unarmed African-American teenager some nine days ago. Seven people were arrested Sunday after a curfew imposed by the state governor failed to quell the violence. Our Connie Kim takes you there. Police fired smoke bombs and tear gas at a group of protesters who defied a curfew imposed in the town of Ferguson, Missouri, where the shooting of an unarmed black teenager by a white police officer has sparked protests. Some 150 people gathered early Sunday near the convenience store where the teen was shot to protest a curfew, demanding that justice be done and asserting that 18-year-old Michael Brown is innocent. The demonstration came just after the midnight to 5 a.m. curfew went into effect to end angry clashes between police and protesters, which have been mostly peaceful and followed Missouri Governor Jay Nixon's declaration of a state of emergency on Saturday. I signed an order declaring a state of emergency and ordering the implementation of a curfew in the, imp in the impact in a curfew in the impacted area of Ferguson. Ferguson, a town of about 22,000 in eastern Missouri, has been shaken since August 9th when the black teenager was shot by a white police officer, sparking racially charged protests over the past week. Tensions escalated Friday after police released CCTV video footage from the convenience store that allegedly shows a teen who looks like Brown stealing a pack of cigarettes and threatening the clerk. Brown's family has condemned the release of the video and says it's not clear if the person in the video is Brown or not. The events of the shooting also remain unclear, with police saying that Brown struggled with the officer and reached for a weapon. Witnesses, however, say Brown was not attacking the officer and already had his hands up when he was shot. Brown's family has demanded the officer be held accountable for his actions. Connie Kim, Arirang News. And new this morning, Missouri Governor Jane Nixon has blamed local police for the renewed violence on Sunday, saying its release of CCTV footage and a police report implicating Michael Brown had an incendiary effect. Meanwhile, U.S. Attorney General Eric Holder has ordered another autopsy on Brown, this time by a federal medical examiner honoring a request by family members of the deceased 18-year-old.